At long last, VSTs are coming to reason. And now you can patch your favorite plugins right into the rack. In this video, we're going to show you how Reason 9.5 allows you to hack the world's top instruments and effects, creating LFOs, envelopes, and sequences where there were none before. You can find your installed plugins in the browser alongside the usual Reason devices. Just drag one into the rack to get it going. From a plugin device in the rack, click Open to access the full interface. You can also undo your changes to almost every parameter using the usual Ctrl Z or Command Z keyboard shortcut. This synth's cutoff frequency is being modulated, but there's no way to do that inside this plugin. It doesn't have an LFO. It's happening because we've set it up from the rack. The cutoff is being modulated from CV input 1 and CV input 1 is coming from this Pulsar LFO. Let's take this same CV signal out to a second device in the rack. In this case, the Soft Synth Classic Silent 1. Silent only has two LFOs for a whole patch but we can use the CV signal to create a new one. At the front, we click the CV input's learn button and tweak the parameter we want to modulate in silent. Next, we can dial in the minimum amount we want that control to be. and the amount of modulation to apply. We can set this routing up to modulate up to eight parameters in the one plugin and dial in the modulation settings for each. We can also use Pulsar's envelope to control almost any parameter in the whole project. Our massive patch has Soundtoy's Tremolator loaded over it, but it doesn't kick in until the bass starts. To make this happen, we've placed a pulsar in a combinator with the bass and selected in the combinator for pulsar to receive notes. The envelope CV is hooked up to Tremolator's depth, triggering it when the bass plays. We've also connected the LFO to Tremolator's tempo using a stepped wave. There's even more modulation on tap. Here we're feeding FabFilter Micro with an envelope following CV, generated by a scream distortion on the drums channel. A 
and here's some sequenced bit crushing. With Decimort's resampler frequency fed from a matrix sequence's curve output. We can also use familiar Reason devices to play VST instruments and effects. Here's D16's Punchbox kick drum synth, which doesn't have its own sequencer on board. We can hook it up to the Redrum sequencer and connect the two using a gate signal, getting the power of Punchbox and the familiarity of Redrum. Or how about doing the same thing using Kong? Or anything else that can output CV signals? In fact, there's so much to modulate that we've created our own combinator to help out. You can download our modulation toolbox combinator instantly by going to bit.ly slash cmmodbox. Load it into the rack and connect the CV outputs to anything and everything. We've set the modulation toolbox up with some easy to use macros and 16 sequences to get you moving. Reason 9.5 is a free upgrade for owners of Reason 9 or costs $399 new. Owners of any previous version of Reason, that's anything between version 1 and version 8, can upgrade for $129. Find out more, head to propellerheads.se.